It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we're going to review some basic layouts in Unity. I will be demonstrating with Unity version 2022. Let's start by creating a new Unity project. I'll use a universal 2D template to demonstrate. Let's start by creating an empty canvas. Right click in the hierarchy, go to UI and select canvas. And let's set it to camera space and drag in our main camera. Now, let's right-click on the canvas and create a child. I'll call this Layout Group. And in the Layout Group, let's add a vertical Layout Group component. This process will work if you choose to use a horizontal Layout Group too, though it might not function exactly the same for a grid layout. Let's add two child images, and we'll change the colors too. And to make the next step easier, let's set the height and width to one-fourth the size of the layout group. In this case, it will be 25. Now let's review the layout group's options. By default, Child Force Expand is selected. This adds additional spacing between the child objects in an attempt to evenly space out the area. So we can see that both objects are evenly spaced. The spacing will dynamically change to evenly distribute the items. The spacing field 2 can be adjusted and adds to this. And if we get rid of this toggle, we will see the dynamic spacing be removed. Use child scale determines whether the child's scale is considered when calculating the layout group. Right now, both children are set at a 1 by 1 by 1 scale. If we increase the scale of 1, we will see it grow outwards from its center. If we instead turn on Use Child Scale, we will see the anchor point remain, and the scale also affects the spacing between the child and its nearest neighbor. We will also see that the dynamic spacing from Child Force Expand stops once content goes outside of the layout group's boundaries. And control child size is last. Control child size attempts to stretch the child's transforms to fill the layout group. However, when we have child force expand turned off, this can lead to a strange result. The child's width and height are set to zero. There are two ways we can fix this. We can make sure to also have child force expand turned on, or we can add a layout element component to our child object. If we use child force expand, the objects will attempt to evenly stretch to equally fill the space. What if we want more flexible distribution? This is where layout elements come in. Let's turn off Child Force Expand and add a layout element to each image. In Child Layout Elements, we can see a variety of options. Let's focus on flexible width and height. Let's turn on flexible width and set it to 1 then flexible height and set it to 20. We can see the image now takes up the full space. Let's do the same thing for the second image, but now set the height to 80. We can now see that the heights are distributed in an 80-20 ratio. The second image takes up 80% of the height, and the first only 20. For this, I try to keep all object values within 100. The ratio can exceed 100, like if we add another image and give it a value of 50, we will see an 80, 50, 20 split. This might be useful, though I find the values mean more to me when they add up to 100. Look at that. Together, we have reviewed some of Unity's layout basics. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day, and thank you for attending Class Outside.